Welcome to Animation for All. My name is Nathan Adams. I am your host. This program is presented to you by Shemple Studio. Hello everyone. This is Nathan Adams and we are in the Blender tutorial of bowling. And we're in Blender 2.66 and what we're going to do is we're going to talk about rigid bodies and how to make this bowling ball knock over some pins. So, let's get to it. So we'll zoom out and we're actually going to first animate this bowling ball's location. So what we're going to do is first we're going to pull this object a little bit forward. So pull a little bit forward and then once we get our location we'll insert a keyframe by pressing I. Okay, we're also moving a little bit to the right so press I for location rotation scale. Alright, and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this keyframe we're going to pull it forward a little bit. Okay, so we go in, we have our, our animation curves right there, X, Y, and Z locations, and a few other channels as well. So anyway, what we're going to do is pull those forward a little bit, and then once we've pulled those forward, we are going to take that and we're going to uh, we're going to make a new keyframe on K on frame one. So we're going to pull back and we're going to pull up on the z-axis. All right put it right to about where the throw would happen about say three feet up I'm going in US customary units so here we go alright so now we have a bit of a curve right there something so now that we have a throw down onto the floor so we can begin the ball rolling okay now we're gonna jump to about the end of our animation so, uh, we're going a little past where there's another camera set up. And we actually have a camera set up at right around the area where the bowling pins are. Zoom out of there. Alright, and then we're going to pull it right to the end. And once we pull it to the end, let's get into our camera view just to give us a little bit better of a close-up. Okay. I'm going to zoom out of that. And we just want to make sure that our X and our Y locations are correct. Our X looked all right, but our Y, we had to pull it back a little bit so that it wouldn't escape the box. So pull it back a little bit. Then add our keyframe by pressing I. And we're actually going to move that a little bit. Okay. Um. Let's see. Okay, just going to scrub this a little bit, see what's going on there. back into our camera view what we can do is we can look at our animation so go through playback our animation looking pretty good and you notice that we also have a camera switch so that it gets to the very end there and it actually shows the close-up of the bowling ball and we're going to move that keyframe a little bit again okay. and look at that animation again see how it works All 
right? Okay, we'll deselect that keyframe. And then we're going to move the frames so that it's about halfway between where it hits the floor and it gets to the end. And then we're going to move this over so it gets a nice little curve to the right. And then we'll insert a keyframe, rotation, location, scale. And then we're going to adjust the curve so it doesn't look so linear in its fashion. So go into the curve editor and then what we'll do is we'll select that frame that we just made and we'll scale it up by pressing S and then scrolling up on the mouse or rather moving up on the mouse and we'll scroll out of here okay now you'll see a nice curve that's going we want to keep that curve and then we can watch this animation so we'll watch that Okay. All right, and there we go. All right, now for our next part. We're going to take those pins and we're going to make them so that they get knocked over by the bowling ball. We've already animated our bowling ball. So now it's just to the pins. So let's take care of this and we're going to uh actually watch this animation sequence. You'll see now that we have the bowling bin coming, uh, bowling ball rather, coming down the alley. Okay, and then it'll get to its final spot in a couple moments. There it is. Okay. So now you'll see that the bowling ball is going through the pins, and we want them to be knocked over by the bowling ball. And what's nice is that we don't have to use the game engine for this like we had to in previous versions of Blender. This is now included in our physics panel, and I'll show you this in a moment. Okay? So we have our 10 pins, we have our floor, we have our ball that are all going to be participants in this collision event. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bowling ball, and at the frame where it stops, or thereabouts we are going to we're going to pause this okay pause that I'm actually gonna move it back a couple frames just to give you an idea anyway what we'll do now is this bowling ball needs to become part of an event so what we do is we go to our physics button there it is and then You'll see with this bowling ball, we're going to go to rigid body. And because this is an, uh, an object that we're going to be using, that we're not going to have any effects on it as far as what's going to be happening. We're going to make it passive, and we're going to make it animated. So that way it doesn't just sit still. Where this floor, we're going to make it passive as well, but we're going to make it non-animated that's going to just stay there so it's not going to fall through or anything like that these bowling pins however we're going to turn them into rigid bodies we're going to keep them as active and we're not going to say animated those active rigid bodies are going to be affected by what the bowling ball does to it now we go down to where it says damping right over at rigid body uh, dynamics Okay, uh, here we go. So we're going to put these fields each at point eight. What the damping does is it makes it so that the so that the rigid bodies don't bounce around quite as much, and they have a little bit of uh, friction, and they kind of slow down the event a little bit. We're going to do this for each of the ten bowling pins. So we'll repeat this process, turn them into rigid body objects. All right, rigid body. And once again, point eight and point 
0.8. We're going to repeat this process for each of them. Okay, that one I did the rigid body constraint instead. I apologize for that. Alright, 0.8 and 0.8. You get the idea. We'll just be doing this for a few more. Won't take too much longer. And also, while I'm doing this, if you have any ideas for any, any videos that you'd like to uh, submit, and uh, just, uh, just in response to what we're doing here, I'd really like to see those. So, also, uh, for those of you watching who are not on the shemble.blogspot.com spot, uh, we do have our source files available, and I'll provide a link for those places. And, anyway, just keep going as we go through these, uh, through each of these bowling pins. Okay, just have three more now. And then at the end of this, I'm going to provide a fully rendered movie of this. Uh, it's only six seconds. So, anyway, now we're down to two left. So, there's my ramble and my rant. So. And that wasn't the field that I wanted, so just put it back to its default value. Go down to the damping, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, okay, and last but not least, there is our last pin. Alright, now we have all these objects set up, so now we're going to zoom out of this, and let's take a look at an animation of this. See what it looks like. Okay, so that one, it just had to finish up the animation sequence. Now you can see at the bottom that on our timeline that there are keyframes being put for every single frame. So it's just going down. Bowling ball is about ready to hit. Just give it a little bit more time and there it goes, there's the hit. Okay, now obviously now we have our animation there with it. But what we want to do is we want to actually bake all those physics. We'll be able to see it and we won't have it real-time editing all the time. Okay, there we go. So it's going to be the same result every single time now. And there we go. Just watch it in the upper right hand corner. There's the bowling ball, the kind of solid view, and then we look at the center screen, it's wireframe. But you get the idea. There's the hit. Now that that's all done, what we can do is we can render this out. Okay. And so I'm just going to do my final render setups, everything. So uh, as you can see, this is our tutorial. And and uh, anyway, just uh, at the end of it, you just want to make sure you set your render path up, like I'm doing here. And then, uh, and then after that, just make sure that you have .png so that you have an image sequence. And then that should give you results.
Thank you for watching Animation for All. This has been a production from Shemble Studio. For more information, go to shemble.blogspot.com. And you can also follow us on Twitter.